So people are always asking what's the difference between a stranded cable and a solid cable. Well, if you're running a cable in an office building, you're going to run this, uh, this solid cable. Whereas if you have a patch panel, you probably want to run stranded. A stranded cable is a lot more flexible. Uh, sometimes the jackets are softer. You can you can bend it. And the reason a stranded cable is a lot more flexible is we're going to look inside, and we're going to we're going to peel back the the solid cable here. So you can see in a typical cable there you've got the 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 four twisted pairs and we're just going to untwist the orange pair the, all the pairs are the same construction the, the difference is the number of, of, of twists but uh, we're going to strip one of these pairs one thing you need to watch out for these are all these are all solid solid copper wire uh, there's a counterfeit Chinese cable. It's not a solid copper. It's a CCA or copper clad aluminum. You don't want to buy that. It's a very cheap cable. You'll you'll see platinum rated Cat 6 CCA for like eighty dollars a box, whereas a normal platinum rated cable is between three hundred and seven hundred a box. Uh, and the reason is what the Chinese do. Some of them do. Uh, as they make this this wire out of aluminum and they just coat it with copper so the copper is a better conductor than aluminum but it's a lot cheaper I mean it's a lot more expensive so the Chinese will they can get away with that and uh, you may notice a difference and you may not so if we peel if we peel this stuff we we see it's copper so and it's solid this is a patch cable. If we cut the end off a patch cable, they're really good for routing and, and patch panels and whatever. I'm just gonna don't do this to, to peel the cable unless you're crazy. But you can see the, the ends are they, you have to feel them, they're a lot more flexible. Um you might notice actually these twists are a little bit tighter. I'm wondering if this is a Cat 6. This is a Cat 6 cable, so the pairs are a lot tighter, as you can see. So I'm trying to peel this, I'm trying to untwist, and um. We're going to again peel the orange pair, and you see you have you have multiple multiple strands. And when this cable is running back and forth, these strands are running against each other, and they're a lot more flexible. So that's the advantage: flexibility, routing it from a patch panel to a switch, running it down the rack. What you do have to be careful about, though, is Crunching it down to a cat six jack. Because if you're trying to punch down the stranded wire, you're not going to punch down the strands, but it, sometimes it's, it doesn't fit so well. Uh, I mean, it seems okay right now, but. Uh, but yeah, it, it can be slippery. But what's really bad... Is if you try to make a patch cable out of it. I don't recommend making your own patch cables. But uh... But sometimes you have to put a, a male end on your cable. For whatever reason. The, the stranded cables are they're harder to peel anyway so for the sake of argument I'm not gonna do this properly but uh, 
but what happens is if you if you untwist these and try to try to make a patch cable out of them they're so flexible that when you line them up and by the way this is not the correct order but, but just to show you when you try to stick them in to the jack they sometimes they don't go in all the way and it's hard to line them up I mean it's working okay for this video but uh, you can see maybe that the connectors they didn't go in all the way the orange one and it would be very hard to shove them in I obviously left way too much wire if we did this with a, with a much shorter wire uh, we would be in a lot of trouble uh, also notice I, I did cut one wire when I tried to peel it so always check for next don't do this this is totally the wrong way to make a patch cable but but yeah so a solid cable very easy to to make a patch cable out of it well not easy if you do this a lot you'll, you'll your fingers will hurt the next day so so buy patch cables don't bother making them that's a real pain in the whatever